was a reminder for myself, Ana Abdul Ajeezu Da'ifu Miskeen of Zalim and Jahannam but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah for the holy month of Zulhaj and the blessed night and the remember of the shahadat of Sayyidina Usman al Qani Jami al Qur'an al Majeed salam the holy companion of Sayyidina Muhammad and that the compiler of holy Qur'an, the one whom brought was not put together in the time of Sayyidina Muhammad brought the pages together, compiled holy Qur'an and put all of its markings. All of the… what do you call the, these markings say? Huh? Tashkil. Tashkils, the wow, the nuqt, all of these for the benefit of non-Arab readers to recite. But these also are encodings and what the immense secret that Allah gave to the beloved companions which are the representation of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad these souls were created and encoded Qur'an with all its secrets and all its realities. What an immense reality that was given, we pray that Allah in this month of sacrifice that that, that secret for Ummat and Muhammad is there for that reason. To remember the holiness of his blessed soul, to remember the companionship and the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and what immense secrets of the Holy Qur'an is a gift for all of creation. And the twelfth month with all the realities of Hajj and the Hijra is the month of the Holy Kautha that the twelve by the power of nine because the Sultanat and every reality in the Shams al-Arafeen is by nine. So when you take nine times the twelfth month opens the secret of 108 Surah Kawthar. So means that the Hajj month is the month of the Kawthar. That's why everyone pilgrimaging to this fountain. This fountain that Allah al Kawthar describing Holy Qur'an that we have given to you Sayyidina Muhammad your heart this fountain of abundance because now when they're teaching the Muhammadan reality we're understanding. The man's of Qur'an, the house in which Qur'an is, is emanating from the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad Of course then it's the abundance, the uncreated speech of Allah manifesting in this soul, in this light. Of, the, of course it's kathiran, it's beyond the understanding of abundance, there is no word in English. So kawthar is, is abundantly abundant beyond any understanding of abundance. That Allah describing as if everything has been given to you. إِنَا تَيْنَكَ kawthar فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْحَرْ and that secret for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad which is above the reality of Sayyidina Ibrahim, all the pilgrimage and the reality that the foundation that Sayyidina Ibrahim brought of the, the tawaf, the Safa Marwa and then the sacrificing and following what Allah wants and sacrificing Sayyidina Ismail as salam, all of that jamarat and all the teachings of going for that and giving everything in the way of Allah and Allah asking, still I want your son. All of that understanding of, of offering to give what was most dearest to himself of Sayyidina Ismail as salam. And that's why Hajj and all the reality of Hajj is Arafah. Because Arafat is that event in which Allah took everything from His servant and the only thing that He had left was this family and this child and Allah said, then I want that too. And as a great test for a great Prophet of Allah and He went to complete His test on Arafat and that, that is the station of knowing. 
when Allah is going to test you with what you have. قُلِنَا الصَّلَاةِ وَاحْنِ سُقِي وَاحْمَا يَعِيَا وَاحْمَا مَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ That I'm going to test you like I tested those who came before you with your life, with your possessions, with your wealth, with your family. That Allah tests the servant with everything in their life. And as a result of passing that test Allah said, I don't need Sayyidina Ismail here, this will be a, a ransom for you, a lamb will be sent. And that is a tremendous ransom that by the virtue of that ram I'm going to take all these burdens away from you and this becomes a gift for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad That this burden and this gift Allah gives by means of and it's not the blood that reaches Allah, it's the act of charity at that time many Charities relieve many burdens but everything has a timing and the timing for that event of, of Zul Hajj that you complete your Arifah and at the end of that Arifah they go and they do the Zabiyah and Eid. By the barakah of that Eid and that Qurban it's not the blood that reaches Allah but it's the sacrifice. It's the fact that people sacrifice at such a holy time that Allah multiplies the immensity of its blessings with, with ways that we can't understand. So it's the, the act of sacrificing from what we have whether it's even a person giving a hamburger to somebody. It's not that blood has to be spilled for Allah to be happy but Allah wants that from what you have there's a key, there's a secret coming, give at that time. And those whom give they accomplished Allah's ridha and satisfaction. And they achieved the barakah of that ransom that from that charity Allah took its difficulties, raised those sins and washed them and purified and granted the servant its clarity and cleanliness and its blessings. And the immensity of, of those days and nights and then Allah reminding that this month for Arafeen is the month of Kawthar, the month of immense abundance. And Allah says in, in Surah 108 that we gave you the fountain of abundance, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرْ Pray unto your Lord and sacrifice. Inna shahnika huwa al-abtar and different madhab have different understanding of that last verse. But for only Allah and Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that we cut you from every enemy of yours. Not the disrespectful translation of that verse that means that you, you don't have any progeny. But to say that your abtar is that none of your enemies will reach to you. Because of the immensity, one Allah saying, I'm dressing you from immense that once you drink from this kawthar the immensity of how He dresses you for all of eternity with lights upon your soul, lights upon your heart, lights upon your tongue, lights upon your eyes that you illuminate lights and knowledges and realities, these are kawthari realities. And as a result Allah asks this character of these kawthari is that they teach فَصَلِّ رَبِّكَ and وَنْحَرْ Pray unto your Lord and live a life of sacrifice. They sacrifice their property, they sacrifice themselves, they sacrifice their time and their whole life is about sacrifice. Pray unto your Lord and sacrifice. Pasalina Rabbik, Rabbik. So know who your Lord is. So only Allah come into our life and begin to teach. The key to Salli Rabbik to pray unto your Lord, one Allah most high our creator, but to be good with all the lords that governing and son. One to fight the evil lordship, all the bad vices and bad characteristics that govern insan from reaching these realities. Once they fight those, 
than to understand the lordship of the heavenly kingdom, the lordship and respect for all the, the Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, all the Ulul Amr is a description of these heavenly kingdoms, all this kingdom of the souls of lords that how to understand, how to make madad, how to have ihtiram, how to have a respect and good character, all of them with good character are praying for us. As a result Allah then describes live a life of service and sacrifice. So when all these lordly souls with our love and with our teachings of respect they're praying for us. They're sending immense fires, immense blessings, immense barakah in our lives and as a result Allah and live a life of service. One heart means as soon as you, you give your time it's service. When you give an ability and a khidmat that's of service, that's a sacrifice. If you have a little extra you sacrifice, if you have food you sacrifice. Living that life Allah says, this is a person from the fountains of abundance and abtar that we cut off all your enemies, they can never reach to you as Allah is your protector and guide. When Allah do that and satisfied with the servant and Allah dressing the servant and dipping their souls in these oceans of kawthar, oceans of reality, of course how any enemy can reach to them? That's the immense blessings, that's the immense the barakah that Allah is giving. That all those things that are coming after you, don't worry, they can never reach to you if you are drinking and eating from these kawthar realities. So means these are the immensities of this month when Allah gives this great and blessed soul of the Holy Companion for us to remember the Ya Rabbi that dress, dress us from these lights. Dress us from the secret of the Qur'an that Sayyidina Uthman was given salam, for the love that he had for Sayyidina Muhammad So much love that Prophet gave two daughters to Sayyidina Uthman al Jamia Qur'an al Majeed. So by just remembering them, thinking of them, reading Fatiha for them, thinking of their lives, Ya Rabbi dress me from that dress, let me partake in the blessings that you're giving, then it's no coincidence this is the month of kawthar, this is the month of zamzam, this is the month in which every sacrifice Allah will reward with an immense reward. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensity and the bounty, the immense bounty of Islam. It's, it's so filled with immense mercy and rahmah. That at every moment, at every corner we turn, Allah is showering the nation with immense blessings and immense lights. We pray that Allah fill us with these lights and these blessings and fill our heart with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the holy companions and all that they struggle and strive for to lay the foundation of where we are today and the immense Ahlul Bayt and the lovers of the reality in which they struggled and strive to give us what we have today of this path and its love and all its realities and all its blessings. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. Bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.